is one of my favorite things in the entire world. And you know, we have folks that are uh, tour nationally that have performed all over the United States on this very stage. And one of my favorite things is when I get someone that comes up to me and they want to try this for the very, very first time. And tonight, we have the privilege of popping somebody's comedy cherry. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, join me in giving a nice, warm welcome for this young man's very first time on the stage. Give it up for John Gonzalez. Like you said, it's my very first time in comedy, so I'm not nervous. It's usually when I get nervous, I gotta take a shit. I'm not nervous right now, that's not the case. And it's always been happening to me, my whole life. It happens in the worst time, too. Four dates, first dates, <laughs> sex. Sex is the worst. You know how awkward it is that you gotta stop during sex, and you gotta tell her that you gotta take a shit because you're nervous, you don't wanna fuck up? And before you even finish the sentence, she's already leaving the door. She calls her friends like, this is some bullshit. You got me set up with some fucking hazmat. You can't even fucking have sex right and nothing. What kind of shit is this? And so one night, I had a date, and the lady told me right on the spot, hey, I get nervous when I take a shit. Now I'm going to get married to her. It's crazy. <laughs> it's late, right? But yeah, I mean, I also, I mean, I hate stupid shit. Sometimes, like, stupid and unnecessary shit is dumb. Like, um... My girl sometimes, when I text her, you know, I'm at work, I say I love you. She goes, prove it. How the fuck am I gonna prove it after a text message? Dude, you want me to send a text message hugging myself or something? Like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? <laughs> so I tried it, but I couldn't cross my arms. It was so big, so I cursed her off for telling me to prove it. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I've been through a lot, man. My mom, she's crazy. My, my family's originally from Philadelphia. Half my childhood, I was raised over there, half over here. But she lives, she was born and raised over there, so she lives by the street code. And she raised our family like that. It's three brothers, it's crazy. But the problem is, you don't know what to do. Because, I mean, one day my brother came home late, and me being the youngest, I told my mom, so she said, okay, he calls my brother home, John, come here, and smacks the shit out of her. And then smacks me for snitching. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Man, one day, I don't know what's wrong with her. I have the craziest family. One day, she comes in, she told us to clean the room. I said, John, Johnny, and Tony, clean the room. I said, okay. Well, us being lazy, we half assed the shit. So we put the dirt inside, put the dirty clothes in the closet, the shoes in the fucking bed, under the bed. And she decides to fucking be a detective and starts inspecting. When she opens the door, she kicked that shit like she got a warrant. Bang! <laughs> and we're like, oh shit about to be a rat now. She gives in, and she is a mastermind. She likes to embarrass us in front of everybody. And she does it with things that hurt the most we're, we're self-conscious of. Like my cousin Tony, I mean my brother Tony, he had the pencil, he can't write or read, so he, she can take the pencil on his forehead. My, my, little, well, my older brother Johnny has a one nub, he was born like that, so she takes a dustpan and takes that shit right in his nub. And my ass, being self-conscious of being of my weight, she takes a broom, puts it in my back, takes that shit in my forehead and my waist looking like Rambo, and she said, clean the room. How the fuck am I gonna clean the room going like this? <laughs> Fucking stupid. It's crazy. Craziest family, like my uncle. My uncle is always in and out of jail. Always. My whole life. And he read the Bible in jail, and then some, he, came in, he came to the house one day, out of nowhere, and starts preaching the word. He tells me, John, everything that's happening in life is in the Bible. I said, really? So, did the Bible tell you we're going to jail? <laughs> he goes, nah, that page was ripped when I was in jail. Man, it's jail. Come on, they always use the books. <laughs> so that's okay. And he's smart. He, like, I don't get it. He's a smart guy, but he's always in jail. He could accomplish everything else in jail instead of doing it in the real world. He got a job. The first two weeks there, he worked at the kitchen. The second, the, the fourth, the third week, he started getting going to school, he got his GED. I'm like, what the fuck? How the fuck he gets more shit in jail than he does here? So, he's excited, he got his GED, and my mom, she's a fucking rude bitch. She, he calls my mom and says, hey Anna, I got my GED. She goes, congratulations, now you're a professional criminal. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> hey, that's my time, thank you, I'm John, man.
here for his first time. If you are interested in trying this, come talk to me after the show, and I will explain how you can get on the fast track to alcoholism <laughs> real quick.